What's up, my pile? It's Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Minecraft. You might know something really interesting at the end of this video, if you're really observant. But, uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. We are here to talk about the 1.6 update uh, of the interesting things that Notch has added. The first that I remember is maps. Oh, what an interesting idea, yes? I do think that this was a mod before he actually did it. And I know for a fact that there are some Minecraft mods that actually put a HUD in the head to display in one of the corners of the screen, telling you, oh, all right, hello, let's, can we not do this right now? I'm making a video, man. Stop it. You're not even threatening. You're just kind of annoying. Yeah, let's just, let's turn that back to peaceful, shall we? Just to make things happier. So maps, essentially, uh, like I was saying, there's some mods, I believe, that actually put a heads-up display, a little mini-map in the corner, and that seems pretty freaking useful. More, way more than Macha's actual maps he's implemented in the game. But, alas, we get what we get. And so here we have maps, as Notch apparently envisions them. Something really strange about this is that it doesn't seem to... It isn't a pixel-by-pixel -pixel map, so each square on this map does not correspond to one square on the ground. So sometimes fine things will just not show up at all. So you can see on this map there's a couple of places where you can see my wall. So it looks like I'm facing towards it right now. Let me back away a little bit so that my cursor isn't on top of it on the map. But you don't see a wall on that map, do you? Uh, maybe one of those lines of pixels is it, but it's, it's impossible to tell because I don't, I don't know what the resolution on these is, but it seems fairly coarse, so each of those dots must be maybe a chunk, perhaps? Maybe maybe less than that, I don't know. But essentially, as you walk around, it auto-updates, and the map creates itself for you. Something interesting is that you don't have to have it out all the time if you want to map a new area. All you have to do is take it out occasionally, and so I'm going to show you. There's an area down here to the south, which I guess this has to be south, since now <coughs> it's on the bottom of my map. How handy is that? North and South actually make sense now. It isn't just, oh, it's the direction the clouds move, or, oh, well, maybe something else, or the carts only go west, or <laughs> southwest rule. What crap? Seriously? I still don't think that really has the redstone dust and the cart physics figured out, but alas. Anyway, you don't have to have the map out all the time. So you see your guy just walked over to the Pikachu sprite, and when I pull the map out, it's going to auto-generate. Oh, you see, did you see it? It was kind of quick, but it pops up a new zone for me. And if I were to do the same thing again, it would repeat its performance. Now let's see, what other things are there in this new update? I think for the rest of the things, we're actually going to need to go to a different world. So let's let's do that. I'm going to go into icing, which is my secondary world right now. Yeah, it's it's raining. Oh, great. Oh, this be a dark video. And you see here, I have placed myself near some of the newer things. Another new thing that Notch added in this update is that farming works a little bit differently now. Normally you could till the ground with the right click of the hoe, and occasionally seeds would appear just off the ground. They just pop out of the soil, like biogenesis or something. Who knows? But now, you change it so that they no longer appear from tilling soil, and now they appear here in this tall grass thing. This is the poncho pack uh, version of tall grass. It looks slightly different in the original, but... Oh, something else uh, I need to say. It's the Launcher well, Pack 4.1, which essentially is the same as 4.0, but it includes the items that were added in the 1.64 update. 1.61 update, really, but anyway. It's in the description, so you can you can be able to see your tall grass and your trap doors if you want to use the Poncho Pack. Uh, I've also included a newer version of the HD Patcher, which works really well, uh, even better than the one I included with the last version of the update, or the last version of the Poncho Pack, so I suggest you upgrade if you haven't already. Anyway, so now seeds pop out of tall grass occasionally, and I'm probably going to go through all of these without a single seed appearing, aren't I? Oh, I don't more here. Oh, there's one more. One more chance. Nope. Not good enough. Okay, well, let's, let's wander about. It seems that this tall grass stuff will grow in basically any biome. It seems like anything other than desert, I think. I've seen that some of this stuff growing in tundra, which looks kind of strange, because it grows green everywhere, from what I can tell. Even on the default. Okay, we can't see, can we? Let's, let's be able to see. Give me some seeds, come on! No? Oh, you guys. This is harsh. Do you have to use the pick? I was using the pick before, but I didn't think it was necessary. I thought it was just a coincidence. Hmm. 
Oh, come on, give me some seeds, guys. Wow, not a single one. I have an awful luck. As you can see, you can't just go around tilling all the ground until you find all the seeds you need. Now you have to find this tall grass. There's some. There we go. Okay. It's dark now, too. Can't really even see what we're doing. But I do believe that you, you don't have to be using a hoe to get seeds to appear. I think I remember at least once or twice doing it with my bare hands. Or a cookie. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to now. It seems like they appear fairly rarely as it is. Oh, there's a big patch over here. Let me grab a torch. Ugh. Here we go. I hate the rain. Man. I love the snow, but I hate the rain. I'm going to go barehanded and see if I can get a seed right here. Down there. Ah, there we go. Yep, just proved that you can do it with your bare hands. Alright, cool. Oh man, I don't even know where I am in this world. I just wandered in a random direction until new chunks started spawning. So I have no idea where my home base even is. And, of course, updating, I don't have any of my mods, so I can't create a compass to go back to my spawn point, and I can't even teleport back to my spawn point, so... Got nothing! Uh, let's see, what other things were introduced in this update besides tall grass? There's also dead bushes that grow in desert biomes. There's some sand over here, maybe we can find one. I don't know if these sandy areas near water are actually desert biomes, or if they're supposed to be beach biomes of some sort, but I suppose we'll find out. Oh, it's dark and rainy. I guess I'll cut back in like we can see. Oh, thank the lord. The rain seems to have stopped. Okay, here's a desert biome. We got some cactuses. Oh, okay, it's raining in the desert. Someone please tell me what's what's wrong with this picture. Look at this, there's just one little chunk in the middle of the desert that's raining. I guess that's supposed to be a grass chunk. That's annoying. Ah! I have found one! Oh, <laughs> glorious! Now we can't even see it, because it's not daytime. Well, I guess I'm going to wait until it's daytime. This is going to be fun. Wow, it's interesting. Chunks used to be divided by very distinct lines. The sun's finally coming up. Ooh, lightning outside. Cool. The sun's finally coming up now, so we can see the line between these two biomes. It's you know, it's raining on this square, and it's not raining on this square. And it's interesting that chunks used to be divided into basically perfect squares, 16 by 16, and now they sort of have wavy lines in two. And you can see that this is a divide, this is the division of two chunks, and it's a, a zigzag. It's a really strange way to divide up the, the weather. And here, you see on some of them it's actually raining on the sand. And I have no idea why. Is that a beach biome, not a desert biome? Who knows? Anyway, now that the sun is finally coming up, we can see what's going on. Check it out! It's a dead bush! Isn't that an exciting item to add to the game? To be perfectly honest, I have no idea what it's good for. When you punch it, it's just gone. And... Nope, no idea. Maybe you light them on fire and they burn up and then they're gone? Or you could punch them and then they're gone. Or you could right-click on them and nothing would happen. What an exciting new item to add. I gotta say, Notch sometimes... I don't know why he does stuff. I guess it's just supposed to make things more realistic. It just seems kind of lame. Okay, now we got we got music going, we got rain all over the place. This is kind of irritating, actually, this weather. I wish it would stop. I'm just going to hang out here in the desert. <laughs> Screw the rest of the biomes. There's the fact that I can't see the rain until I get right up next to it. You see out there, there's a perfect square where the chunk is divided. Out here, it's like, nope, squealy lines. Whatever. Um... Let's see, what else, what else was in there in this update? We have... Ah, there's one other thing. Let me go meet you back in my... Uh, what other called? Other world. I can punch out paradise, I mean. And the last but not least, we have trap doors. These, in my opinion, are the most exciting addition in this newest 6-4, or, yeah, 1-6-4 update, rather. And I'm just going to go ahead and show basically what these are for. They're pitfalls, essentially. You drop a little, well, that one on the bottom there, so you, you not needed, but whatever. You drop a trap door down, and you can open and close them, so you have basically a vertical doors. You can use them to make temporary staircases. So, uh, this is something I actually just thought of. Wow, okay. But you could make them into a staircase. I'm waiting for an enemy to appear back here, if you're curious why I have this dark zone kind of just sitting there. Might be better to make it actually a little darker back there. Let's see what we can do. I want to demonstrate another great use of these. But, uh, let's, yeah, let's see if I can make a little, fashion a little impromptu fake staircase here. This is sort of a disappearing stair. 
This seems like an interesting idea to me. Uh, let's see, I'm going to want to take this one back. The idea that I have is essentially, I wonder if you could make a staircase. Wait a minute, I think I just heard a skeleton. I'm going to go back up here. Anybody back there? Hello? Hello? I can't see. I'll turn off the lights in my room so I can actually see what I'm doing. So imagine this. You can't walk through these, but you decide you don't like them. You just knock them out of the way and you can walk by. So you could have a stair, sort of had a tunnel underneath it like this. So now it's a staircase, you can go over. Or if you want to go down to the tunnel, you flick it up and walk right by. So this could be a, a handy way to make really collapsible staircases in, on the side of a home. For example, if you wanted to have a, a quick way up a wall, whoops, that's the wrong keys, quick way up a wall, you could do something like this. So now you can have this sort of temporary staircase that you just hop up, and when you don't want it in your way, you flick it up against the wall and sort of it folds off. It still sticks out a little bit, but not as much as it would, so that seems pretty helpful. Any friends back here? No? No zombies that want to hug me? I wonder if the zone is dark enough. It certainly seems it. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Ugh! Getting jumpy! Oh, wow! I didn't know that red redstone torch was actually going off light. But yeah, you can see the execution here. I have a pit! Ooh! And I have wired it up with redstone all around. You can see here. You don't even have to have the straight lines coming down to the pit, it just needs to run past it like this. Same thing here. And when you flick the switch, you can barely see all the gates open. I don't have anything underneath here, just, it's just a hole. So you can sort of collect mobs in it, I guess, if you wanted to. And now I guess we'll just have to wait and... I don't know if I want to actually linger until an enemy appears. I am on... yeah, I'm on hard. Huh, well, I suppose we'll just linger until someone decides to cost us. And then we'll execute the trap. God damn it. Oh, well, I suppose I might as well just explain what happened if you... Let's have an instant replay, shall we? I dropped my pickaxe. Well, I don't actually have the footage, but... I dropped my pickaxe at some point, and then... When I picked it back up, the next time I used it, it instantly died on its first usage. Just another one of the happy bugs that Notch has introduced in each update. I gotta give him some credit though. In this update, the a link in the description will be again to the version history page, which you should pay attention to. You can really learn how, what, how things are changing and what's new in Minecraft by following that page, checking on it occasionally. But uh, unfortunately, although Notch did remove quite a number of bugs in this update, he also added a few, uh, that one being, I think, the most egregious of the bunch. I'm having a hell of a time getting anything to spawn in this dark area back here. Maybe I'm just totally forgetting some basic rule of Minecraft and nothing's ever going to spawn there, but one way or the other, if there were a creeper coming along and I didn't want him to, you know, in my base and all that, just stand on the button and he falls in the pit, you can close it off and walk over him and laugh at him. <laughs> I think you might even be able to fire arrows through this, although uh, that's totally that's total supposition on my part. I really have no idea. Now, one attraction from those trap doors is that when you think about it, that thing I have right there, I don't even need to have the trap doors there if I'm just looking to keep things out, because I can just take a pit for that. But if I want to have a zone where I can walk across it myself and choose to make it a pit when enemies are nearby, then trap doors can be useful. But to me, I feel like I would just dig a moat and not fill it with water. Just have a big pit around whatever I wanted to protect, like my house or whatever, rather than having something I had to actually activate with a button. Or perhaps you could use redstone torches to hold it closed most of the time, and then whenever you went inside, pop out a single redstone torch, and then have everything open up so you could basically lock your house by making a temporary moat. And these are all ideas that I hope to implement eventually when we come back to this game later on. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Well, let's play Minecraft. Oh, one more thing I should say before I go is that this is going to be my last video for about a week because I'm going on vacation with my family, and I don't have any way to record or upload. So I'm taking a vacation, and you guys 
hopefully you're all on, on summer vacation by now, I would think, so go outside, get some sun. I know I could use it. I'll probably be able to buy the pool some of the time while we're down in Florida this next week. The long drive tomorrow, so... Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Angry Ponchos World of Minecraft.